In this activity we're going to be doing a type of mold making. We're going to be using a paper pulp called Claycrete by Amico and uh, basically as you can see it is just a chopped up um, bunch of paper or paper pulp. I will admit it's very dusty so if you do have um, breathing problems such as asthma or anything like that it would be a good idea uh, even dust allergies to use a dust mask if you're going to do this but we are going to wet it down so it's not going to be too bad um, uh, some people put this in a Ziploc bag to do their mixing I'm going to be doing it in a container whichever one works for you our end result will be that we're going to take this paper pulp and we're going to press it into these molds that are these really cool bugs and spiders which I know are not bugs and then after it has um, dried in the mold, we're going to take it out and then paint it. This is what it looks like on the back that's unpainted. So you can see how we've pressed it in and it's dried. And then you have this painted, uh, we used watercolors for this particular one. We're also going to be doing one in um, uh, acrylic. This one's still a little wet, so I shouldn't have moved it like that, but that's okay. Uh, once this dries, we're going to do a little bit more on it. But we have to remember this is paper, so as fragile as paper is when you put water on it, that's how fragile these will be. So when I painted it, I was not um, moving it at all. So now I'm going to show you how I mix up my claycrete, and then I'm going to fill a new uh, mold of this big tarantula, which is not my favorite thing in the whole world, but I don't mind it if it's just plastic. Okay, and I'll show you how and that's So I need done. to have some water, and I'm going to do it a little bit at a time, and only adding as much water paste. I don't want it soppy. I want it so there's no dust at all, and it takes a little while for it to all absorb. And you'll be actually quite surprised how much water it absorbs. I'm going to get a little bottom in the bottom there. And then basically you just smush it. That's my technical term. Now I want everything to be wet. I don't want any dry pieces. Because if there are dry pieces, they'll just fall apart. So I'd rather over wet it and have to add some more clay cream than not add enough water. And it's not unpleasant, it's not sticky or gooey or anything like that, it just feels now like Now this project paper. is going to be done in two parts because obviously we need some drying time. I like to leave it for a week, you probably don't need a week and it'll also depend on what time of year you're doing it and the temperature when you're doing it. So if it's a hot day, it's going to dry a lot faster as it evaporates. There we go, I got it nice and wet, almost a little too wet. So now I'm going to take my mold and flip it over. If you like, you can put it in some sort of container so that it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to start to fill it. And I'm going to fill it slowly, really pressing to fill each spot. I almost want to hear the squeezing of the water. I don't want to leave air pockets. Okay, it's really important, otherwise it'll break. So first thing I'm going to do is fill my deep areas. And I'm not speeding this part up because I actually want you to see how long it does take and how small of portions I pick up to put inside when you're using such a delicate mold as this tarantula is. Because it's got all the legs, right? So I have to press it first into all of those areas. And then I'm trying to keep it within its shape as much as I can. Obviously, I'm still going to put it on top later, but I first want to concentrate on getting the main shape in. You don't want to rush this part. And it's fun. Make sure it sticks together well, that there's no spacing. Even though it may look like you have too much for that little tiny area, keep pressing, keep pressing. The water will squeeze out and you can press it even harder and really get the shape of it. Because if you don't, when that water evaporates and it shrinks, it's just going to fall apart. Okay, so I'm going to continue filling 
my whole tarantula and then I will show you how to do the flat part on top. Now for the top layer, I uh, mixed up some water with some glue because it's important that the top layer really hold. And I did, did it quite thick. When you uh, mix the white glue into your water, it's going to be pretty goopy, so you, you do have to sit there and, and mix it a bit to break it up. And then it holds really well when you put your uh, wet clay crete on. It sticks really nicely. It, I didn't find I don't find that it really bothers me. Uh, as far as stickiness when I'm applying it, I don't think it makes any difference. But it's more important that our back part be glued than our front, um, than the legs of our um, our first layer, because this is the part that holds it all together. And I'm showing particular attention on my edges now, because if you're if it's going to break anywhere, it's going to break on the edges. Okay, so I'm actually thickening them up a little. What I want to do with this um, tarantula is actually mount it as if it was a a, a specimen that had been found, okay? So we're going to just really fill in the edges like that and press, press, press. As I go through, I don't like anything loose. It's just going to pop off. And then I'm also trying to get it as even as I can, and it's no problem to press down on it. Now, I use a container underneath for this purpose, so if you have a little box or something, uh, even um, maybe a tissue box that you, you rip open the top, and then you can press this down nicely in it. Okay, so now um, I need it flat because I'm going to mount it and I don't want lumpies out of it, so I'm going to sit here pressing it. But other than that, we are done. And I push my ends in to make it so they're not too rough. And now I'm going to leave it to dry for a, two or three days, maybe even a week. If I have any leftover of the um, clay crete, it's wonderful modeling material. I can make it into other things, so I'm just going to model it into a ball. I'm going to experiment to see how long it takes for that to dry solid all the way through. So if you're doing um, any sort of projects for, for school, you've got some modeling material that you can use um, and you should test it out to see how long it takes your 
so you know how long uh, before your project is finished. So I just use regular white glue, water, and clay crete by um, It's been drying, I would say, for about um, a week. And I've left it dry to dry a little bit longer because it is pretty thick. As you can see, I made it quite a bit thicker because I wanted it to be strong. And so I had some leftover, and I just made it into a ball like this, and I allowed it to air dry. It is hard, really, really hard. And I can drop it, and it it doesn't crumble when I drop it. You see me drop it? Okay, so if you're doing a 3D modeling with your class, this, this is not bad. I'm quite impressed by how dense and how um, firm it, it really is. And that one was with a little bit of the white glue mixed into the water. So now I'm going to reveal this. Let's hope it all holds together. So it sticks just a tiny bit. I had sprayed my mold with a little bit of water before I did it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it took, everything came out. Let me just go out a little bit so you can see. Okay, and there's the whole tarantula, beautifully imprinted. It feels a little bit like, like styrofoam. I don't know how else to describe it. It feels like foam, kind of pressed in a couple areas. They're so well pressed in that they're a little bit shiny. So I wonder if that was where uh, I had more glue. Now the tarantula itself didn't have any glue. It was just the clay crete with water and it held together very well. And then the background is really firm and that's the one that had the white glue mixed in. So the white glue I only mixed into the background for strength, but really it's, it's quite nice. The tarantula has a different feel. It's a little bit more porous feeling. Um, this one feels a little bit more sealed, but it turned out really well.